Hey DIYers, Dylan here with Alarm Grid. Today we're going over how to bypass zones on the security system. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Vista panel as well as the Lyric. Uh, I'm going to stick to Honeywell today. Bypassing zones and pretty much majority of the all-in-one systems is pretty similar, pretty simple. Vista is a little bit different and there's a little extra option there that I'm going to show you as well. So to start off with the Vista, uh, we have our Vista panel as you can see in a reddit arm state. What I've done is I've wired resistors to zones one and two. I programmed zone one as a fire zone, which is usually how it's gonna be set up. And I programmed zone number two as a front door sensor, just normal burglar zone sensor, uh, entry exit. That's not really important too much because we're not arming it, but. So uh, what we're gonna do to simulate a trouble, which is usually when you're gonna have to bypass the system, you'll bypass, sorry, bypass the sensor. You'll bypass the sensor if the zone is troubled, Basically, if there's an issue with it and you just don't have time to resolve the issue or delete the zone and you need to arm the system, uh, or if you wanna just leave like a window or a door open while the system is armed. So say, you know, you're at home, you do an arm stay, but it's nice and breezy outside, you wanna keep the windows open, you'll bypass windows, allowing you to arm the system. So, to show how to bypass zones. Uh, so, the first way you can bypass a zone on the Vista is by entering the master code six, as you can see it says bypass, and then the zone number. You can also do what's called a force bypass. This bypasses all the zones that need to be bypassed. Um, force bypass does not mean that it's gonna arm the system automatically when you do this. It's just gonna bypass everything, allowing you to arm the system afterwards. So for example, that is the master code, followed by six, followed by pound. So I'm gonna show you how to do both in just a moment. Uh, side note, so for bypassing zones, the only types of zones that you need to bypass are burglary zones. Uh, that would be door contacts, window contacts, glass breaks, motions, anything like that. Fire zones, smoke, COs, heat temperatures, uh, heat detectors, you do not have to bypass. So as mentioned, I have zone number one set as a fire and zone number two set as a front door. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen the resistor on zone one. Uh, simulating a fault in my smoke detector and then you'll see on here it's gonna trip the it's gonna trip a trouble it will say that's still red at arm I'll still even be able to arm it just want to see how it is so let's go ahead and undo zone number one I'll loosen the resistor as you can hear we're already getting the trouble beeping silence that and then as you can see here it says fire trouble one now it doesn't say anything about not ready. My ready light is still on. So let's even go ahead and try to arm it. So our master code is still the default one, two, three, four. There we go. Arm stay. I still have a fire trouble. So that's showing that even if a fire zone is in trouble, you don't have to bypass it or anything to arm the system. So I'm gonna disarm. Disarmed, still have my fire trouble message. Channel's letting me know. Uh, so now I'm gonna undo the resistor on zone number two, which is our front door. So this would be, you know, say the wire comes loose, there's something wrong with your contacts, anything like that. That'll cause a trouble state for that system. So let me do a second disarm on here, hit star for faults. Fault zero two, front door. That's the other one that we just did. All right, so uh, I have my zone one still faulted, which obviously isn't really that big of a deal. Uh, zone two being faulted, however, my ready light is off. Shows hit star for faults. Usually if it shows that, you know, you have an issue. I'm gonna try to arm it. And when you see, when I try to arm it, it shows fault zero two front door. So what I'm gonna do is first show how to bypass it just by zone number. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, six, zero, two. Bypass zero two front door, disarmed, bypass, reddit arm. So I bypass that zone specifically. My zone one is still in a trouble state, but as you can see, the panel does not care about that at all. I have my ready light on, let's go ahead and arm it. Arm stay, zone bypass, disarm, hit star for faults, 
shows my fault, ready light is off. Every time you disarm a system, it's gonna undo your bypasses. So let me get rid of that message. So just kind of go over that one little part. So what we did is we bypassed that specific zone. So I did the master code followed by six for bypass and then the zone number. So if it's zone two, you have to do zero and then two. So one, two, three, four, six, zero, two, and that bypass zone number two. Um, now we're just gonna do a full bypass. So that's called the force bypass. So for that, that's the master code followed by six for bypass followed by pound. So one, two, three, four, six, pound. Read the bypass there. Disarm bypass, dreaded arm, have my ready light on. There you go. So similar. Uh, this one, obviously, the force bypass is if you have like a lot of zones you're trying to bypass. So my example before, if you have windows, it's a nice breezy day outside, you want to leave a lot of your windows open. Instead of going through, you know, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, and then going through all the zones together, force bypass, easy enough, just gets them all out of the way. And we'll just disarm. And then just to show, once I fix the trouble, close that zone there. So this is indicating that I'm fixing the trouble for zone two. And even though it doesn't really matter, I'm gonna fix the zone for number one. Okay, so both my resistors are now back on, simulating that the uh, sensors are fine. Reddit arm, ready light, I don't get any troubles if I press star, nothing happens. And obviously I don't need a bypass anymore with that. Uh, next we're gonna show is how to do it on a Lyric panel. Okay, so uh, we have the Lyric panel here. What I've done is I've programmed this two gig door sensor to the actual panel. So we'll just wake this up real quick. So I'm just gonna fault this to make sure it's working. We've got that, not ready to arm, front door, our six iron down there beeped. And close back up, ready to arm. So uh, for bypassing on the Lyric, it's actually very, very, very simple. So we're gonna open the door, simulating you know, a fault. And then obviously, same idea, uh, if this is also in a trouble state, you'll have to bypass it as well. So that would be uh, you know, tamper, no battery, uh, anything like that. Here, let's actually test that as well. So I'm gonna pop this open. We've got our tamper there. So tamper, three front door, not ready to arm. I don't have an arm option here, so it's not like the Vista where I can just try to arm it. It doesn't even give me the option. So I'm gonna close that back up. Sensor's nice and closed. Let's disarm to confirm. Oops. And once more, because it still shows. There we go. So, tamper is resolved. Now I'm just gonna fault it again. Fault the door. As you can see, I don't have my arming options, so what I'm gonna have to do is go into zones, or I can do arm custom. So if you do arm custom, this is kind of like a quick way to bypass zones. So you'll just select the zone you wanna bypass, arm custom, enter your master code, of course, because you're arming, and there you go. The volume's a little low, but as you can see here, it says arm custom, exit now, bypass. So I'm gonna disarm. Just a bit. There we go. So yeah, so just to recap, so you can do arm custom. That's gonna show you all your zones that you have programmed here. We only have the front door just for the video. Uh, but if you wanna bypass a zone, you're gonna highlight it. So any blue highlighted zone on there, you know it's gonna be bypassed. Arm custom, code, it will arm it and then bypass it. You can also do, uh, going through zones, 
same exact idea. You'll see all the zones here that you're programmed. Hit it. Bypass. Code. And then there you go. Ready to arm. Bypass. With no items to display. So that's selecting fault. These are all my bypass zones, so I can clear the bypass too if I wanted. Clear bypass, you're gonna have to enter your master code again. That unbypasses that zone, so I didn't really disarm the system, I just kind of uh, undid the bypass. So we got that there, select bypass, nothing. And then as you can see, orange indicating you know a fault because my, my door is still open. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much how you do it on the Lyric. Uh, next, I'm going to go show you how to do it on a GC3 panel. Okay, so we've done the Vista, we've done the Lyric, now we have the GC3. GC3 is very, very simple as well. Like I mentioned, usually all the all-in-one touchscreen wireless systems, they make it as easy as possible to use these systems in general, so bypassing is the same. It's very, very easy. Um, I use the same door contact I used on the Lyric, programmed it to our GC3. So what I'm gonna do is fault the zone. And then as you can see right here on the main screen, we have a bypass all option. Press on that, it's gonna ask you to enter your code. Oops. There we go. So we have a one, pressing on that, that shows our bypass sensors. As you can see, it says ready to arm bypass, even though my door is open, it's wide open. Uh, so I can do an arm stay. I got that. Go ahead and disarm. And then as mentioned previously, whenever you disarm on any system, it's gonna undo your bypass. Another way to do a bypass for sensors is here is system settings. Bypass sensors. And then you can show here sensor one, go on bypass it from there, ready to arm. I can unbypass it from there. And then you can also get to that using either the installer code, which is that first code I used, the 1561, or the default mask code, which is 1111. Either one shows you the bypass sensors option. And then you know just select which one you want to bypass. Shows bypassed. You can go back, arm it, or do bypass all from there. Enter your master code. Arm. Very easy. Last panel we're gonna go to, also super easy, is the Quolsys. Uh, Quolsys actually has a feature for a auto bypass. So I'm gonna look at that real quick. Okay, final panel we're talking about today is the Quolsys IQ2 panel. So um, as mentioned, this does have an auto bypass feature. I have disabled that for now. Uh, pretty much when auto bypass is enabled, what happens is I'm going to fault my sensor here. Got my front door open there. Broken chain means that it is faulted. So if I had auto bypass still enabled, it's kind of self explanatory on what it does. It just bypasses it right away. You don't even have to worry about it. So what you would do is basically, you know, arm it. Right now, since I have it disabled, we get this message. If I had it still enabled, you wouldn't get that message. It would just go straight to arming. It will show it as bypass there. You wouldn't really have to do anything at all. Um, that's kind of a plus and a minus. Obviously, you know, it's going to show you all the zones that are faulted there prior to arming. So they really shouldn't be an issue uh, with you not knowing, hey, maybe I have a window open, something like that, because it's still going to show you right there. Uh, this just gives you a little extra verification if you want to actually do it. So I'm going to press OK. That's the bypass right there. Very easy symbol to follow arrow going over it as in it's basically just looking over the sensor. It's not really, uh, not really worrying about it at all. So disarm. Perfect. So right there still. And then just to show if auto bypass was still enabled. 1561 is the default installer. I'm sorry, uh, too many panels keep getting confused. 1101. Default installer code, you go to installation, security and arming, auto bypass, I'm gonna enable that, back to home. And now when I, buy, when I arm it, we're not gonna get that message. 
Just goes right to arming it. Has our uh, bypass symbol right there. Easy enough. So any sensor that was open or fault is going to show up there. It's going to show if it's bypassed or not, if you have the auto bypass enabled. And then if you don't have auto bypass enabled, you'll just get that little prompt there saying, you know, who would you like to bypass? Okay, uh, so we went over a good amount of bypassing today. Uh, we went over Vista panel, we went over Lyric panel, GC3, Quolsys IQ2. Uh, we do have more FAQs on our website www.alarmgrid.com if you want to learn more about bypassing any sensors on systems I didn't go over today. Today, uh, Please, you know, if you did like this video, like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified if, you know, when we release more content. If you have any questions about bypassing, sensors, systems, monitoring, anything like that, send us an email, support at alarmgrid.com. And that is everything. I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, it's a pleasure being here. This is Dylan from Alarm Grid. Thank you for watching.